today. Today we're going to talk about the magic E rule. The magic E rule is a rule in the English grammar. Before going to the details, now let's have a glance at the vowels so you have a better understanding um, of the magic E rule. There are five vowels in the alphabet. A, E, I, O, and U. There are two sounds for each vowel, a long one and a short one. Now, let's see um, all the sounds for each vowel, one by one. A, the short sound is A, the long sound is A. E, the short sound is A, the long sound is E. I, the short sound is I, the long sound is I. O, the short sound is A, the long sound is O. U, the short sound is U, the long sound is U. Basically, the long sound is the own vowel's name. Now, let's see about the magic E rule. Let's see some examples. For example, tie. Um, this magic E rule occurs when a vowel is before the E or um, a consonant is between the vowel and the E. If you look at this word tie, T-I-E, um, E comes right after this vowel I. So the magic E rule applies here. In this word, E becomes silent. Then the I um, turns into the long sound. I, T, I, the E is silent. T, I, E silent. Tie, tie. Interesting, right? Let's look at another example for the exception. Cake. Here, um, between these two vowels, K, the consonant comes between these two vowels, A and E. So, the magic E rule applies here, too. Like I said, in tie, the E becomes silent. Then, A turns into the long sound. A, K, A, K, E becomes silent. Cake. This is fun, right? Let's look at some more examples. Here's another another example. T O E to right after the vowel O. So let's use the magic E rule. As I said, E becomes silent, then O becomes the longer sound. O. T. O. E is silent. To. Now let's oh, move on to another example. Like L I K E. Here, a consonant K is between these two vowels I and E. 
So let's use the magic E rule. The E becomes silent. Then the I turns into the long sound. I. O. I. K. Lie. K. The E is silent. We have some plenty of examples for the magic E rule. Um, now ju let's just recall them. Tie. Toe. Cake. Light. the magic E rule. This is an important rule in the English grammar. If you read more storybooks, you will definitely come across um, words such as these. If you see them, remember the magic E rule and apply. Um, if you read more and more storybooks, reading is so easy. And you'll easily understand the magic E rule. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe and share this to your friends and families. Don't forget to click the bell button for more notifications on our videos. Bye bye!